Welcome to Yukanic. Today here on Yukanic we have a 2015 Ford Focus. Has a 2.0 liter motor in it. And we are going to go over the process to be able to replace the starter on this vehicle. The starter on this vehicle is located right down below this intake manifold. Um, all the way down in the middle of the engine. And I should be able to pull it out through the bottom. Otherwise, if you take this off, you're going to need some different gaskets and stuff to put it back on. And hopefully we don't have to go that route. Now, the air box has been removed for something previous, but the air box has been removed, which does give us a little bit of some line of sight down to where the starter is right down there. And so there is a little metal cover and a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter bolt is one of the bolts that hold the starter onto the vehicle. So we may be accessing that through the top here, um, right down here. And you've got these some um, water coolant hoses that you may need to push a little bit and be able to get your hands in there to undo those top two bolts there. But before we go ahead and do any of uh, work on removing the starter, number one, we will just, we have disconnected the negative battery cable and that is out of the way so it won't make connection with the battery. And now we can go ahead and do um, electrical work on the vehicle and not uh, damage anything and or hurt ourselves with electricity. You will want to raise the vehicle a little bit, um, support it on jack stands because you are going to be crawling under it. And um, the if you have a splash shield that happens to still be on your vehicle, you'll need to remove that to get the access to where you need to be on your vehicle. So um, that being said, we'll go down under and loosen what we can loosen from down there. And then see if we can do it all from down there or if I need to come back up and go right down here through these hoses here and be able to undo the top. Um, bolt from up here, which might be the case. All right. Okay, so right down here under the middle of the motor, and we have our starter. We have the uh, electric connectors that are attached to the back of the starter here. So we're going to go ahead and undo those first so that when we undo the other stuff, it's not hopefully getting in the way. Now we have this water line. We're going to kind of push up out of the way. Do you remember when you put everything back on to be able to pull that back down where it needs to go? But we're pushing it up out of the way to give us um, to give us extra space there. So we have a 13 millimeter up top here. We'll loosen that one first, and then be able to get the other. And we'll do the other one. Okay, so we have the one that is the big battery cable uh, connection, and now we'll do this one, which is a 10, and that is what is going to activate your starter. Okay, so we have the two uh, electric uh, lines there. They're not bad. They're held in there because there is a, a clamp up here um, that is holding it in. So, but they are they are loose and ready to, to move on. So those are pushed up and out of the way there. We have a little metal piece up here that's holding on by a 10 millimeter on top and bottom of the starter. So we are going to undo that and be able to move that out of the way. And then we can gain access to the actual bolts that hold the starter in. Just gonna need a, a wrench to do this. Not a whole lot of space otherwise. This 
So right behind this electric line, that's the, the bottom one. And so I'm removing that. And then once we get the top one undone, and then we should be able to push this little metal um, plate away that's got a lot of uh, electric lines stuck into it. So I'm just gonna go up here by kind of feeling where it's at. Okay, so I got it loose. I'm gonna just remove that nut. And like I said, this one you could do from up top um, if you've got the air box removed. And you can be able to reach in there. So now it's undone and we can be able to move this out of the way. Okay, so I just removed the uh, um, the little clips that were pushing this, holding this in there. Now we should be able to get this little uh, metal uh, bracket out of the way, which will help us for removing the rest of the starter. Okay, so now we have a 13 here and a 13 on the top to undo. And the starter and this starter bolts into the side of the block going uh, backwards. Okay, I have the bottom one uh, loosened. I'm going to actually just go from up top reach down through there to be able to loosen the uh, top one there. All right, I'm gonna try 13 millimeter deep socket. I'm gonna need a deep one because of the uh, thread studs on there. Got the socket on there. Now, be able to get the ratchet on there. Okay, so once you get the right combination, You can get that bolt to come out and loosen. So I'm going to remove the top one completely. Then I'll remove the bottom one. And then we will have to figure out how to get this starter out of the access without having to take off a ton of more stuff. Okay. So we have uh, removed the two bolts, the top two bolts, the electrical and whatnot, and now we are ready to get the starter to come free from the, uh, the engine block. So we just need to do something to pry it away from the uh, motor block a little bit. There we go. And now we should be able to just bring that starter right down through here and we have removed our starter. So we have our starter and if we go back up to the same axis hole the way we took it out, we can just go right up through here. So we got the electric lines they're on the top side, but we need to get started over there. And then we have those uh, some glide plate pins there, and that was able to slide into place. And so our starter is holding up there right now. Now 
Now we will start these uh, stud um, type bolts. Well, it's a bolt with a bolt on it. And start the bottom one, start the top one. We can get those tightened down and then we can start doing all the other stuff. Yeah. Got it hand tight, so now I will get a 13 millimeter socket on there. Okay, got that tight there. Perfect. Everything looks good there. Now, we have that little metal cover piece to be put on there. Um, might as well just the electric lines that go down here on the bottom side. Um, just going to get those sitting over there. And finish coming around and tighten that up in a second. So we've got our, our little metal shield here. there the two 10 millimeter nuts that you know top and bottom hold it in get those uh, cinched up there and then be able to tighten those with our 10 millimeter We have those tightened. Now, that's just fine. Now we can, if we can, we'll push this uh, connector back into uh, that metal clip. So coming on the back side here, we've got our 13. So we've got the uh, the 13 on the back side and the 10 on the back side. So all the electric is connected back up up there. Now, if you push this um, water cooling line out and up to there, want we'll to make sure you bring that back down, and you can uh, clamp it back into the clamps. Keep it up where it's supposed to ride there, and. Uh, the final inspection that you uh, rehooked up everything down here on the bottom that uh, was unhooked. And then now you just be able to go up and uh, hook up your uh, um, negative battery cable, hook that back up to the vehicle, and then you should be able to uh, start your vehicle and drive down the road. Thanks for watching, Mechanic, for you can be the mechanic.